Okay, Patriots, I got another story for you. Look, uh, if you want to learn about what's going on with the Iran situation in the Middle East and Israel and Palestine and all that, you can go to a number of different places to get that information. You come here to my show to get information on things that aren't being covered elsewhere or being scarcely covered or even exclusively covered just by me. That's why you're here. Well, guess what? I got another one of those stories. But before I get into that story, I just want to preface it with saying this, okay? I'm a conservative Jew. I'm not a Christian. I'm a conservative Jew. I'm proud to be Jewish. But my beliefs and ideologies align more with Christian conservatism than they do liberal Judaism, all right? I'm very, very pro-Christian. I understand that we live in a Christian Judeo society, and thank goodness that we do, okay? Now, the only thing that I detest more than anti-Christian bias is anti-Semitism, okay? I'm the type of person that corrects people when they say happy holidays, or they call it winter break, okay? It's Christmas break, and it's Merry Christmas, okay? I don't believe in this uh, anti-bias against Christians. Now, so naturally, because of that, I'm going to cover this story. This story is crazy, number one. Number two, it is 100% true. And number three, unfortunately, it's to have been expected. We all know that Canada is no longer a bastion of freedom of speech, freedom of expression, and you know the ability to be able to get your your name out there, your words out there, your opinions out there without being chastised and ridiculed, demeaned, and, and all these other things, and, and oppressed, and of course silenced. They have pretty nasty laws, and their Supreme Court is extremely radical left. Well, the Canadian province of Ontario is actually effectively considering banning Christianity. That's right, criminalizing Christianity. The Prohibiting Hate and Promoting Demonstrations Act of 2019 would criminalize, criminalize folks, all public displays deemed hateful towards Muslims, the LGBTQ community, and or other victim groups deemed a target by left-wing legislatures in Canada. Although the proposal, proposed legislation does not specifically say that it will ban Christianity, well, it doesn't have to, because all you have to do is look at past precedent that the Supreme Court has looked upon and their decisions that they have come up with, okay? The problem with this legislation ultimately is in the definition of the word hate. It is left vague, probably on purpose, more than likely. It is very ambiguous at best and likely that way on purpose. As a result, the word hate is left up to multiple interpretations and is currently being used as a weapon to silence people that believe in free speech especially those that have more conservative and traditional voices in Canada. This concern is real. This is not made up. This is not fake. This is not an alarmist type situation. This is not right-wing conspiracy. This is a true concern that if you're living in Canada, you should be very aware of, very cognizant of, and more importantly, fight against. Uh, Canadians have already experienced, as I said, the contempt of the Canadian Supreme Court uh, and what they have done to conservatives in the country. A couple examples. 2018 Trinity Western Christian University case whereby the Supreme Court ruled against the university for its lack of LGBT students, calling it, quote, hateful and discriminatory. 2013, Bill Whatcott, a Canadian social conservative who is pro-life and against homosexuality, the Supreme Court concluded that the effects of an expression used, i.e., example, rally, protests, speeches, pamphlets, literature, you name it, not what the communicator's intent was, was what was relevant. 
So in other words, his beliefs were more important, I guess you could say, than even his actions, although his actions, they also ruled upon as well. The fact that his belief that homosexuality was a sin was what the court concluded was hateful. So in other words, just because this guy believed that, it's like thought police, right? It's like minority report happening. That's what they ruled upon. The Supreme Court of Canada prides itself on being, quote, proudly progressive and has established a well-documented bias against traditional values. If this legislation becomes law, there is little doubt that the courts in Canada and, of course, the Supreme Court is going to continue its assault on freedom of religion, freedom of expression, freedom of speech, and anti-bias against Christians. Now, if you needed any more proof, any more proof, look no further than to the Royal Canadian Mint. Last month, they issued a commer commemorative coin to celebrate homosexuality as a, quote, core principle of Canadian society. Quote, marking 50 years since a landmark decision that began a process of legal reforms to recognize the rights of the LGBTQ Canadians is a powerful way to symbolize Canada's profound belief in equality and inclusion, end quote. That was by Marie LeMay, president and CEO of the Royal Canadian Mint. So let's think about this for a second. You've got Justin Trudeau, right? This wild, radical communist that runs Canada. This is somebody that believes in open borders. He's a devout globalist uh, and more than anything else, has no problem dragging ISIS fighters, Al Qaeda fighters, Islamics, uh, refugees, you name it, all into Canada. As a matter of fact, he's working right now on a way to safely bring in former ISIS fighters into Canada. That's true. That is correct. So think about that for a second, okay? They are persecuting Christians in Canada in, in a horrific way, as you would see done in China and many other places uh, around the world and other countries. Uh, Sultan of Brunei obviously comes to mind almost immediately. Uh, Vietnam, many others where they're banning Bibles and things like that. So this is our neighbor to the north, folks. This is our neighbor to the north. These folks and the government of Canada are biased against Christians. They are promoting the LGBTQ community over Christianity and traditional values. And for safekeeping, let's start throwing Islam into the mix. And what are they doing? They're allowing these Islamic refugees to come into their country to take permanent footholds in their culture. So what's happening in Europe is no doubt going to happen in Canada. But I'll tell you right now, we're going to stop it here in America. And you know what? President Trump, not only does he need to build the wall on the southern border, I think it's about time he builds it up north too. What are your thoughts? Please put it down in the comments below. I've got a big, big show coming for this week. Lots of interesting stories to cover. Uh, we're going to break down the Rashida Tlaib and her new comments about how Palestinians uh, provided a safe haven for Jews. Really, huh? Well, I'm going to break that one down historically, okay, and prove that she is 100% wrong in what she said. Uh, then I also have some other things, uh, some good news possibly coming out of the Supreme Court that will help uh, spread more freedom and liberty and prosperity in America, uh, and a couple other interesting stories that the media is not covering uh, up my sleeve. But again, please remember this channel is not monetized. Patreon.com forward slash Josh Bernstein, five, ten bucks a month. Help me monetize my efforts here. Remember, it's not a monthly expenditure, it's an investment. Because as I always say, I eat, sleep, and breathe protecting this nation. We'll see you all on the next report.